God bless you. This is Apostle Dr. Dewan Jackson, and I'm coming to you again uh, here uh, to have an opportunity to share with you some of the things that the Lord has uh, placed on my heart. Uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about on today on Deborah's Voice, I wanted to share with you about the uh, powerful opportunity that God has given us to forgive. I'm telling you that, you know, forgiveness is a word that we hear and um, many of us have not even wanted to really deal with um, this word or this particular passage of forgiveness because we um, feel that we're justified. We feel as though, you know, the pain, the suffering, the agony um, of what we have endured or what we have gone through causes us to um, feel like we should not forgive. But I want to tell you today, one of the most powerful scriptures in the word of the Lord is um, the scripture that talks about um, our ability to forgive. Jesus said it like this. He said, we ought to forgive 70 times seven. Isn't that powerful that Jesus would say, listen, I don't want you to forgive once. I don't want you to forgive twice, but you got to keep forgiving 70 times seven. That's 490 times a day, right? A day. Glory to God. So each person in our lives has the ability to make mistakes. What, what God was saying that no one is perfect. Yes, we understand that people um, should not do certain things. They shouldn't bring um, um, hurt and pain upon others. But how many of us have never um, brought any pain on anybody? I don't think it's, it's reality, right? We've all done something to hurt someone. We've all done something to um, bring affliction, bring pain um, to somebody else. We've all done something that is not um, good and we don't want to have to experience that um, or realize that, you know, I'm the one that also needs to be forgiven. And so when we think about this word forgive, it means to release, right? It means to let go. It means to let a person go. It means to put things in perspective so that we're able to accomplish what God wants and we're able to do um, the will of the Lord for uh, such a time as this. So I want to encourage you to know that God is so awesome, that God is so powerful, that he's given us the ability to be able to um, forgive. He's given us the ability to be able to um, not um, allow a person to um, have that much power over us that we can't be free, um, that we can't go on, that we can't move forward. Um, even when you're talking about having forgiveness for another person, we do understand that there are instances where you can forgive and you may not be able to continue the relationship with that person. But then there are other instances where God will want us to forgive, where we're able to take the time be able to go forward and to open ourselves up for deliverance to be able to come forth um, and then be able to be restored with that particular person. Um, a lot of times in covenant relationships, you know, with our parents, with our siblings, with our spouses, things of that nature, these are relationships that you have to learn how to forgive, right? You have to learn how to let that person um, be free um, from whatever they've done to you and then still be able to love them because one of the powerful things about forgiveness is that we can continue to be in position to um, still have a relationship and still love that person. Um, we know that that's not um, going to happen in every relationship, in every situation, but thank God that it is available, amen, that we're able to forgive and able to sustain and able to build rapport and build relationship with other people and put ourselves in position so that God's able to do, um, you know, great and mighty things. So I'm blessed of the Lord because um, God has allowed me to walk through some deep, deep pain, um, deep, deep um, pain within my life. But I thank God that God has allowed me to be able to um, learn how to forgive, learn how to put myself in position to um, say, you know what, I'm going to give you the chance to, so that I can trust you again, so that I can, you know, uh, develop with you again, work with you, build um, a friendship, a relationship, building your, you know, your, your daily walk of life with the, those covenant partners, um, those people who are in your life. Like I said, whether it's your parents, whether it's your siblings, whether it's your spouse, whoever it may be, 
um, God will use um, so powerfully um, our ability to forgive and he will give us a greater grace as we forgive. He gives us deeper love because one of the greatest things that we see that Jesus did was he died for us while we were yet sinners, right? And him doing that means he was able to forgive us of all the, the filthy things that we were doing, all the stuff we've said, all the things we, we've operated in, and yet God was still able to forgive us, right? He was still able to say, I forgive your sins. I'm going to, you know, still love you. I'm going to still make you my own. I'm going to bring you in as my child. And it's so powerful that God would do such a thing, that God would open up, you know, and forgive us when we really don't even deserve it, right? But but that's the thing about forgiveness. It's so awesome that God says, even when we should not deserve it, he was willing to forgive us and die for us, right? And so here now, as we um, walk as women of God, men of God, Christian saints, as we come forth, then we realize that God is also requiring us. He wants us to come into that place of forgiveness. He wants us to come into the place of loving beyond ourselves, right? Being able to release that hold, release that stronghold, release that bondage that has is, is held us in captivity from, you know, going forward. So this is a blessing for us to be able to experience um, God's love through us, right? God's love through us. We exemplify God's love when we show forgiveness. We exemplify God's love when we pick up the person who has devastated us and say, you know what? I release you from that. I'm sorry because I'm sure that I've caused someone else deep pain as well. And so when I can look at that and say, I want to give um, that forgiveness um, to that person and also give um, them the ability to be free, but also gives me the ability to be free is such a blessing. And so I just want to thank God for the opportunity to share. We're just talking again about forgiveness, sharing a few things. And I look forward to uh, speaking with you some more on this topic. And I pray that it blesses you. And I pray that uh, God continues to do a great work in and through you. God bless you and may the Lord's uh, face shine upon you and may he keep you until the next appointed time.